everybody, my name is Travis, this is Travis Packables, and today we're doing a little bit something different. We're going to be talking about Topps Project 2020 and the effect on the industry, like on the hobby. It's kind of crazy right now. People are buying it up like mad, and it's reselling like mad. Now, I just want to talk about it and see, because I've been, I got in it on the, at the beginning, but I wasn't buying every single card that came out. I would buy what I wanted for my own personal collection, and then it would turn around and it would sell for, you know, a whole bunch of money so I obviously missed the boat on a lot of those early cards that had low print runs now I want to do what I want to do is just kind of look into it see what that what's out there is it a good investment should you be jumping into it too as it's still ha gonna hold value at this point in the game where everybody's kind of getting into it and then go so on and so forth from there now if you guys do enjoy this style of video I'd like to do more but it just depends on if you guys are want to watch it or not um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, I would appreciate any feedback's always good, especially because it helps me learn so we can grow the channel a little bit better and more to your guys' liking. So go ahead and leave, if you could, leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything else. You know, always, again, the growth is huge, and I do appreciate everybody that has helped me grow to this point. Um, we've been doing well, like amazing, and um, we'll, I want to keep, let's keep trucking along, you know, loving the, loving the stuff so far. So, now, if you guys have probably noticed, I have a green screen behind me. We're not using the green screen right now because I don't have my lighting set up. But it's going to stay there because it's just a little bit easier than tearing down and putting back up. So, what we are going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and jump into, on the Topps website, there's a, a, a great website that I use. It's kind of like, um, gives you feedback and stuff. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at it. Now, if we come over here, you'll see we're on Topps' website. Now, Topps' website is going to have... You know, you, every day, Monday through Friday, you're going to have two cards. It's going to be one or two Hall of Famers and then by two different artists. So today we got Vides as uh, Joshua Vides, Nolan Ryan, and then Keith Short's Ken Griffey Jr. Keith Short, personally, one of my least favorite artists in this set as far as what he's put out. Put out. It almost looks a little bit childish, which, I mean, that may be his style. That's fine, and I'm sure there's people that do like it. It's just not for me. Uh, Joshua Vides, Nolan Ryan, it looks great, but, again, that's because Nolan Ryan's actual rookie card of that year or his 69 rookie card is just a beautiful card all by itself so but i do i do enjoy his work now if we go through here you you'd buy you could buy the two card bundle for 35 bucks and you get right on and you can start up you know as soon as you want so i'm filming this memorial day you'll have to, all day tomorrow to buy it if you want they usually stay up for 48 hours and then the new set will come up so what I want to do is show you kind of like what's going on with these cards and why it's so crazy and why I wanted to talk about it. I have, me personally, I bought in at the pretty early on. I got Mike Trout early. I got Tony, a couple Tony Gwynns. I bought all the Mike Trouts. I got a couple Tony Gwynns. Uh, just players that I really liked at the beginning because I didn't really think much into, oh, this is an investment opportunity. Should I want to invest? Again, most of the stuff's going to be in my uh, personal collection, but you guys, I mean, might be wanted just for the investment purposes. So we're going to use this opportunity to just take a look and see what's going on. Now, if you buy these two cards at $17.50, if you buy the bundle, it'll be $17.50 a piece. You'll always get your money back, no matter what, based off what's going on right now in the market. Their cards, you'll get it. The cards will come in. The shipping's free, so you'll get them at $35. Bucks. Um for, or you'll get them at seventeen fifty a card, and right now, if you go into the market, the cards that are on sale on tops right now, for instance, these two specifically, this Nolan Ryan and this Ken Griffey Jr., they are sitting at. I saw some of them sell for thirty, are selling for thirty dollars on eBay right now. Why nobody's going on Topps' website to buy them? I have no idea, but they are. So. There, so you're always going to get your investment back. Now, if we go look over at this website that I use, it's the uh, Project 2020 PRJCT2020.com. You'll see, and it gives you kind of like a breakdown of what the most valuable cards in this set are, the bottom set, the bottom 10, the print run numbers, and then you got your bottom 10. And then you can also go look at each individual card and get that information just by looking at the card. So if you look at it right now, Ichiro is sitting at $3,333 as a sell. That's what it's going for right now. Madness. That was the first card released in the set. Um, it's by Ben Baller, who's a really popular artist in the set. He does really good stuff. He's a jeweler that uh, is now kind of turning his own little jewelry renditions or like renditions into cards. And it looks 
really, really good. We'll go through some of his cards here in a minute. But, yeah, so that number one Ichiro is selling for over $3,000. That was a $20 card if you would have bought it in at the beginning. And everybody had access to these cards. But the reason why it was such a low card is because... Oops, or such a, why it's such a valuable card is because the print run. So if we can get this website to load. Come on. So if you look at Ben Baller's Ichiro, it's got 1,334 print run. So that's how many people had bought it or ordered it online. Now, uh, he's got five cards so far, number one being the Ben Baller, then it goes into Frank Thomas. And then I'd say right around here, the Ben Baller Mike Trout is when the market, is when everybody started going crazy for these cards. It was right around that. It's a beautiful card right there, that Mike Trout, and the print run what jumped up to inflate to 35000 you know, per print run. I don't think anything's beaten that, or at least it hasn't yet. I'm sure something will down the line. But that's when everything started going nuts. Now, this card, when it was available... $128 is what it's going for now. It's a $17.50 card. Now, if you look back, the farther you go back in the print run or in the order number, you'll notice the how, how high value some of these are. Like Frank Thomas's Ben Baller is going for $585 right now. Uh, that was the 23rd card that come out. And then you go to Ricky Henderson. I have I ordered this Ricky Henderson. It's up to $82. And that was just pretty recent too, maybe like a week and a half ago or something. Um, and then Dwight Gooden's card came out on Friday. Ben Baller stuff, so and it's a really good card. But look at this, Friday, and it's already up to thirty nine dollars. Again, if you would got if you go in and you get the group buy, it's seventeen fifty a card. So it's, you know, you're guaranteed to get your money if you can afford it. Now what I've been doing myself is I I'm gonna buy I buy two of every card that I want in my personal collection, and then I buy one of every card no matter what. So if it doesn't sell, fine, I'll just throw it in my PC and collect them because these are really nice cards too that I do enjoy looking at. But if I don't or if they end up selling and they make, you know, end up being great value, then I'll turn around and sell it on eBay or whatever. But they are definitely flying up, so the chances of any card being $3,000 like this Ichiro right here is pretty slim to none. So we'll go through some of these artists, and I'll kind of give you an idea of what you got. You got Andrew Thiel. He's also got a mic chart out there. But if you look at this print run of 13200 it's way lower. This one came out after the baller. I think it came out. No, it didn't. It came out before. So you have this Thiel Mike Trout. This is a print, print run of 13200 Way less than the 35000 It's at 156 right now is the value. It'll definitely be going up, I'm sure, from there. And they just keep going up every hour. So the market on those is nuts. Then you got this Derek Jeter that just came out at Friday. No, it came out Thursday because it came out with the Marvel Wire. Uh, awesome card. I love this card. It looks really good. Uh, so I definitely bought a couple of those. And then you have Nolan Ryan, which everything every Nolan Ryan looks pretty good just because of the fact that it's um it's just an, a great looking original rookie card uh, and then the willie mays card which is sitting at 915 because of how low the print number was if you go anything below 20 like if it was 1 through 20 those are the cards that seem to have blown up and are are making our the return on investment super high uh, blake jameson he seems to be rising up a lot in popularity so ben baller blake jameson those to be those seem to be the most popular artists as far as what people are latching on to that i've noticed um, Jackie Robinson, I do have this card sitting over here in my person. I bought these ones. I don't have them yet. They're still waiting to be shipped to me. This one was a Thursday card, I believe. And then you've got the Ricky Henderson, which isn't here yet. But look at that. I mean, it's not even... A lot of people haven't even gotten this card yet. It's at $372. And they're just going to take longer. And then card 18 right here, 422 for that Nolan Ryan. You have card 18 right here uh, for the Nolan Ryan. Um, go down here, Don C. I actually don't know much about Don C. Okay, so he's got one card in here, and this uh, this Frank Thomas, which I'm not a fan of. So I'll be curious to see what his rest of his cards look like. Um, but again, I mean, at this point, you're basically buying every single card that they have. That's what you're looking for. You want every single card that they are selling. Okay, so Ermsey is one of my top three favorite artists, and I'll go through each three of my favorite artists when we get to those artist pages. But basically, he's got this Ichiro, the 2011 Mike Trout. That's the card that's kind of starting to blow up a lot um, and jumping in prices. I got this when it came out at 17, or no, I got it at 20 bucks because I got it a single card, and uh, it, I sold it at four, no, about 4.99, I believe I sold it for. It is now at over two thousand dollars. I thought the bubble was going to burst. It did not burst. It just kept jumping and jumping and jumping, and then I lost out on a bunch of money. There's a reason why this, why these cards specifically are starting to blow up and become what they are now. And that's because art fans are starting to get into the cards. Not cards as a, as a whole, but just these specific collaboration cards because they're artist renditions 
of these famous cards. And because of that, people are super interested in, you know, getting these cards. So they want to have them for their own art collections. And that's why they just keep jumping up in price. Uh, but now, and that's why you're seeing this huge growth in the secondary market. Um, now, I don't think, be, because a lot of people are buying on eBay these card prices, like, so they're paying 30 bucks for a card that's on Tops for 20 bucks right now. And I think a lot of people just don't know that Tops is where you go to go buy it. So they're just buying them on eBay when they see them. So, basically, Ermsey's one of my favorite, or one of my three favorites. So I'll show you. He's, I don't have Ted Williams and I don't have the Ichiro. Those are mistakes, especially this Ted Williams, because I love this Ted Williams. And I, I don't, I can't believe I didn't get it. I'm so angry. And now it's at $329. So that one's basically gone forever for me. The Trout, I already told you guys, I sold. I did not buy the Ichiro. And then Dwight Gooden, I didn't buy like any of his cards in the beginning because I don't like Dwight Gooden. Like, I'm not a fan of him. He's, I have no, you know, nothing for him. So I just didn't get Dwight Gooden. Uh, Bob Gibson, I did buy because my, I want, at this point, I'm buying one of everything. And this is pretty recent into the, or pretty recent, like last week. So. Um, we'll jump on to the next. We got F dot. F dot's pretty uh, popular. Also, I know a lot of people are talking about him on there. His print runs aren't very high, but if you look at like these earlier cards, I do have this Mike Trout right here. I mean, this Mike. I do have this Mark McGuire right here. It's going at six hundred bucks, and uh, at this point, but uh, I got him because uh, you know I'm live in Northern California, so I grew up Mark McGuire, uh, and. The Willie Mays is really nice too. I kind of like that one, but I didn't get that one. I didn't get the Nolan Ryan. I didn't get the Ted Williams. I wasn't a huge fan of this guy's style, but a lot of people do like it. So it seems to be growing up, or growing a lot too. But if you look at the prices on them, four twenty three for uh, the Willie Mays, two eighteen for the Nolan Ryan, and then uh, oh, this Ted Williams is only at seventy two bucks. So that's pretty low. But that's mainly I'm assuming because the print run was so high, what nine thousand almost. So it seems to be moving pretty good on that one. Now, if we jump on, let's see what we got next. We got Fuchi. Fuchi is one of my other favorite ones. So I, this is two of my three favorites. Now, Fuchi has this no face thing. Kind of reminds me. I mean, the art style in general reminds me of like an Archie comic. Um, and I love it. I, I know he doesn't have a lot of people don't like the fact that he doesn't have a face, but I love it. I don't have this guy right here, this Cal Ripken. I did not buy that one, but I bought Ted Williams. I bought Mike Trout, and I bought Sandy Koufax. Um, just because I want all of Fuji in my collection. That's why I bought the Ted Williams when I did, even though Ted Williams isn't what card I'm trying to collect too much of. But, you know, just the way it worked out. Ripken, big regret. Now that card's sitting over at 1,043. But that was the fifth card that came out. And I was very, like, specific on which cards I wanted to get at the beginning, not realizing what the secondary market on these cards would be. So, but yeah. Fucci, one of my favorites as well. Then we go on to Gregory Sif. I don't really know his work. Oh, no. See, this is one of my least favorite ones um, for sure. The George Brett at number 11 had a print run of 1200 you know, total. It's going for 1200 bucks now. So it's almost it's past its print run in value. And then um, the uh, Nolan Ryan did not get that one. I, he ruined a beautiful card, in my opinion. This is one the only Gregory Sip that I can actually get behind that I quite enjoy is the Don Mattingly. I think that one's pretty solid. But these other ones, and the Calipin's okay. But this, like Nolan Ryan, uh, my is awful. And then the George Brett, no, not my style at all. So, but I haven't jumped into any of these ones. I think I did get Mattingly, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I did. Um, I'd have to double check. So we'll jump on to Grotesque. Grotesque is another artist I really like. He's not, he's not the, one of the top three guys like I was telling you about, but I do really like Grotesque. I've got the... I don't have this Gibson. I have the Tony Gwynn because I got everything Tony Gwynn. I have the Jeter. I think I have the Jeter now that I think about it. Jeez, I hope I got the Jeter. <laughs> I know I have a Jeter that's similar. I definitely got the George Brett. And I don't think I have the, the Roberto Clemente. Now, the Gibson, again, card number seven, low print run of 1,200. It's in 979. I do have this Gwynn, print run of 1,441. That's at 589. Uh, it'll be jumping up soon, I'm sure. Let me jump into Jacob Rochester. He's got the... He's got a kind of a... I mean, he's watercolor looks looking... Or pastels, maybe that's what it is. But um, his cards, you know, we got Sandy Koufax as the second card. $1,200. Look at this trout. came out Friday. It's already at $49. So. But I got the Griffey. I got the trout. I don't have any of these other top ones. JK5. 
He's got a, it's a cool art style. I bet I don't have any of the cards because the outside of Ichiro, I don't really I don't have an affinity for any of these players, so I didn't get them. Um, but I'm not, I might have gotten the Roberto Clemente. I don't know. But again, look at the values: nine twenty eight, four twelve, three ninety three. Even the Roberto Clemente, which is from the card number sixty eight out of eighty eight that we've gotten, uh, is ninety nine dollars already. So. Just cards that are going to keep jumping up. And then you got Josh Vides. Josh Vides just has, he doesn't really do add a whole lot to the, he takes the original card and then kind of adds the the lines around, the hard lines around it. So, I mean, pretty simplistic, but also pretty cool. Uh, Gwyn at 242. Ricky Henderson's at 701. Doc Gooden, 1101 print run. I mean, let's move on. We got Keith Shore. Uh, he's my least favorite artist in the entire set. I, he's I, he's got some kind of style, but it looks ridiculous to me. I can't stand it. But people love it, and their cards are or people either love yeah. People are paying for it because they are these cards are worth a lot. That McGuire thousand fifty nine didn't even get it. All right, moving on to let's see. We got King Saladin. His stuff's more sh like street, like art, like uh, graffiti style is how he does his um you know people like it or you know don't i don't think i have any except for the ichiro i didn't grab i don't think i grabbed the willie mays not a big fan of the style just looks like he's drawing on it i'm not a big fan of the graffiti art on it matt taylor this is my favorite artist by far in the set um he's got that like almost like a neo like a cyberpunk style aesthetic to it which i'm a huge blade runner fan like huge huge blade runner fan so that kind of aesthetic is always like resonates with me and so that's why i've got every single card he's put out i've made sure i've gotten at least one of so i've got the each or the ricky henderson the jeter the griffey and the frank thomas love this artist can't wait for the rest of his cards to come out especially that trout i can't wait for his trout mr cartoon beautiful his is some of the cleanest like as far as best artwork i've seen he's he like because he redraws them all and he just does such a great job on it uh, so he's been he's awesome and unfortunately I don't have barely any of them I just kind of must they're just because they all did players that I just don't collect like I got Jackie Robinson but I didn't get any of these ones the Roberto Clemente is in the George Brett which I actually love the aesthetic to quite a bit I wish I would have gotten all right so but yeah Mr. Cartoon I didn't get a whole bunch of his cards and unfortunately I passed on them when they first came out and now I regret it because yeah, the the George Brett's beautiful. The Roberto Clemente is beautiful. Two cards that I wish I could have I, I picked up when I did. Not even for the resale, just own because I love these cards. So, moving on to Naturel. So out of all these, the only one I have is Mark Tony Gwynn, and then I've ordered Mark McGuire. I have Tony Gwynn here in the in my hands. I don't have Jackie Robinson or Roberto Clemente. Again, players I don't usually collect or own a lot of because they're before my time. Um, and it's the Jackie Robinson's shooting up to 1,333. So, and then Roberto Clemente at 400. Pretty nuts. Moving on to Old Manilan. This is my, I know some people probably love this style, but this is one of my least favorite. This is the only Tony Gwynn I don't own because I couldn't stand the look of it. And I just, I hate that style. When I saw it, I was like, okay, nope, not getting that one. And then I think Mariano Rivera's actual rookie card is so ugly in and of itself. Like that's it, because it's not baseball at all. He doesn't show any baseball. I haven't picked up. I didn't pick up any of them in the early run. And that wasn't even that old. That was number 56. So, yeah, I didn't pick that one up. And that's the one that's jumped up quite a bit to 1,200 because of that low print run. Even the Tony Gwynn hit 1,300. But yeah, that's old Mandalay. I don't really have much to say about him because I just haven't. I don't have any of them here with me, and I haven't ordered much. I ordered one of his cards, I think. Then we're moving on to Sophia Chang. She's got. I like her style of the like the graffiti art on it. I think hers looks a lot cleaner than the other one. Um, I don't have any of them here on me because I didn't buy a whole lot of them again. Uh, but I do have a few of these coming. The Jackie Robinson's probably my favorite, and then the Willie Mays is also really nice. I definitely have the Willie Mays. I believe I have this Ichiro. I don't think I have any of these ones. I wish I would have got that Jackie Robinson, though. Um, so, yeah, hers is, her art, her style has really grown on me. It's really cool. And then I like what she did with Mariana Rivera. She put, she put him in a Yankee uniform, which is um, much needed. So, And the last one, Tyson Beck. He seems to be growing in popularity, too. I'm 
not the hugest fan. Looks like paper mache, so it's not really my uh, my bag. But I do like the Bob Gibbs, Gibson. I think the Gibson looks really nice, and I think the the Kangaroo feed looks really nice. The other ones I'm pretty eh on. Uh, so I do have a Gibson, I believe, coming, and I don't. Yeah, I didn't get the Ken Griffey Jr. I don't think. But yeah, so that's the different artists. That's what's a, like what there is. That's the popularity on them. Um, or that's the different versions of the cards. So now if we go to overall value, all right, now if we go to the overall value, you can kind of see correlation between low print runs, high prices, and what their value is on there. So uh, Ben Baller's Ichiro, which was the first card released into the set, is at going at for over $3,000. Low print run of 1334 Obviously one I didn't get. So if I did, it'd be out the door right now. I'd sell it. <laughs> I get some a card I really want on my PC, um, but yeah, same thing with Tyson Beck. Tyson Beck's popular. The Sermzy Trout, which was the first trout, so the lowest number, the lowest print run trout, so it hits at twenty four eighty. Um, and then yeah, these guys just moving up, kind of like a rundown of the different values. It's nuts. So in everything that I had picked up, my most valuable one is that I have that I own would be the Ted Williams Fuchi probably which I own because I love that card. And I think I have it, yeah, right? I have it right next to me. So you guys can see it. I can get rid of the glare. No, that's my window. Very cool card, I like that one a lot. But I bought that one because I just like the way it looks. But Then you come over here to print runs and you'll notice the later the cards, obviously the more popular the print runs are. As people start to pick up on what the secondary market is on these guys, the more people are starting to buy them up. So you're seeing like Dwight Gooden, Ben Baller sitting at 26,000. Like that's nuts because Dwight Gooden has some of the lowest print runs, I think pretty uh, consistently. So Dwight Gooden, Marion Rivera also. Dwight Gooden up there. I mean, those are low print runs. So boom. This Jacob Rochester Trout hit 33,000 print run. Almost Ben Baller numbers. And that one, this one looks nowhere near as good as Ben Baller's. So basically, I wanted to show you guys everything, kind of let you guys look at or see what I'm talking about with this Project 2020. They're blowing up. The resale is insane if you wanted to get it on the ground level, like if you want to get it on it now. Now, because of the fact that if you buy the card, if you buy the group, both cards together at the same time, they're $17.50. And the lowest any card's selling for right now is like, 30 bucks even the ones that are selling today are selling for 30 bucks even though you can go to tops and get them for 20 bucks i'm assuming that's just because people don't know you can go to tops go get it so you always almost make your money back if this is something you're interested in investing in as far as any kind of big humongous you know triple or what as far as any kind of big three thousand dollar or two thousand dollar investment on what's left in the that's going to be coming out probably not going to happen but the cards are really cool something i would definitely want a lot of for my pc which is i have pretty much done um to put in to keep them in my pc so yeah now if there's something i just wanted to go over and kind of talk about it because there's they're cards that i like a lot um and something i kind of started getting in on the ground level because i was interested in what the product was now obviously it's been turned into an investment for a lot of p other people and you know for me somewhat also because i did, I did end up selling the trout so no so at this point right now for me personally i'm buying one of every single card that comes out the rest of the set there's going to be 400 cards so there's going to be a whole bunch of different options, different styles of art, different for those 20 different players. Now, if you're a fan of one of them, you want to collect them all. Probably a little bit too late to do that. But there's definitely a whole bunch of cards coming out by some of these artists that are going to be really cool just to have in your own PC because they are nice looking cards. Um, that's where I started when I started, or that's why I started collecting these in the beginning. And now they're just something because of the secondary market. I'm making sure I get almost everything of. But there will still be some that I want a PC for myself, and I'll be getting two of because I want those in my collection. Um, so yeah, that's it pretty much. I just wanted to go over this and talk to this, talk, or talk about this with you guys, and see where your guys' opinion on it was because I love this collaboration idea, and it's a lot of fun and. Let me know in the comments your guys' thoughts on this. Did you, are you guys in on it? Did you get in on it in the beginning? Are you just now getting into it? Did you get it for investing? Did you get it because you want to personally collect these cards? That's really what I want. Like I'm curious to know is where is everybody else? What's their thoughts on all this on themselves? Like are you guys in on it? Like uh, like I'm in on it, or you know some of these other people are. So 
so yeah just leave a comment and let me know i want to know your guys's feedback or like uh on this whole top our project 2020 i just want to know your guys's feedback on this project 2020 is it something you guys like so that's pretty much it i just wanted to, it was something yeah so this is the whole new video for me something i haven't done before um, but I wanted to try it out and then get feedback, see if you guys enjoy it or not, see if you guys want to do more of these. I will be doing some videos like this in the future. I want to show you guys what I'm doing for PSA, when I my, my big PSA submission. I have a huge submission that I do plan on sending out um, eventually, and I want to show you guys what I have in that submission. Um, also, the... Um, I want to show you guys what I collect, what I personally collect. My main PCs when I'm collecting cards. So... That'll be something I want to do in the future, but let me know what you guys think in the comments about this video also. So let me know your opinions on the Project 2020, and then also let me know on this style of video and if it's something you guys are interested in or you just want more pack opening cards. Again, I'm here to do it how you guys like to do it, because I like doing both. So I'm pretty open to anything. But uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate your guys' feedback and all your you know, interest in my channel. It's been great. The growth has been amazing. And uh, I will see you guys next time.